Hi everyone, my name is Byron and I'm a traffic engineer living in the US. Today I want to talk about why it's important to get your professional engineer's license in civil engineering as early as possible. The PE stands for professional engineer's license and it's a common license to get in civil engineering. To get the license, you need to pass an eight hour exam, but some states may require you to pass more exams. About 10 years ago when I graduated and entered the workforce full time, I made it a goal to take this as early as possible. So let's get into the reasons why I believe you should take this test as early as you can. First reason is marketability. Having a PE license opens business, promotion, and job opportunities. Working on the government side, getting a civil PE is almost like an instant promotion. It's actually a requirement if you want to move up the engineering track. Where I worked, an assistant civil engineer did not require a PE, but the next level up, an associate civil engineer did require a PE. When I obtained my PE license, I was promoted to associate civil engineer in short time. Another point to consider is even though you like your job right now, you may not feel the same in the future. Or what if you needed to move? Or what if you just wanted to look for a new opportunity? If a situation were to occur if you had to leave jobs, having a PE license makes you more marketable. Having choice is good. So what happens if you're looking for a new job? The way I think of it is if you were to be competing against your eco for the same job and they had a PE and you didn't, guess who would be getting the job? Probably not gonna be you. The reality is the job market is competition. Invest in yourself before you get to this point. You never know if it could be the difference in getting your dream job. The second reason is for better time management. I found through experience, the older I've gotten, the less free time I tend to have. And a lot of that has to do with taking on more responsibility as you get older. I still think about the days when I graduated and got my first job, I had little responsibility. I spent most of my free time playing games and watching movies. Not only did I play games like The Witcher or Football Manager, I even spent hours watching people play games like StarCraft 2. I don't have time to do that today. Do you have kids? Or other responsibilities will eventually make their way into your life. Having less time and more responsibilities pulling you in different directions will definitely make it harder for you to study for the PE. For that reason, make it a priority to pass the PE early. Third reason has to do with knowledge retention or how your memory works. Unfortunately, as human beings, we naturally forget knowledge if we don't use it. The longer you wait, the more you're going to forget. The PE is a broad test. You have to have knowledge of a broad range of civil engineering subjects. Throughout our careers, we're most likely going to specialize, which means we're going to get really good at one or two topics. But the rest of the civil engineering things that we learned in school, we're going to start forgetting. Because of our natural tendency to forget unused knowledge, make it a priority to study for and take the PE exam as soon as you can. Another benefit of getting your civil PE early is to get it behind you and in the rear view mirror. No one wants to have that nagging feeling in your mind that you still need to take the PE exam. It's gonna cause you stress. And no matter how much we wanna ignore it, there are probably people out there who will likely judge you as an engineer if you don't have your PE license. Is that the most important reason to get your PE license? No. And I personally wouldn't judge others if they didn't have their PE. But getting your PE license early will put all those nagging thoughts and doubts to bed. I personally wanted to get my PE license out of the way because I had a lot of other things I wanted to learn. For me, I like to learn about traffic and transportation engineering. All the other subjects in the PE, they're a little less interesting. By taking the PE first, I got it out of the way, which freed me up time to then focus on traffic and transportation and take the TE exam, which is an exam that my state offered. I knew I'd probably have an easier time taking the traffic engineer exam later because I spend most of my time on my job on traffic. In conclusion, take the P exam as early as you can. There are many reasons and benefits to taking it early. And for those in the situation that a lengthy amount of time has already passed since graduating college, that's okay. There's no point in dwelling in the past. Now is still the earliest time to take it. I hope you enjoyed this discussion about the benefits of taking the civil P exam early. If you like this video, help me out and smash that like and subscribe button especially if you want to see more of this type of content in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.